07 Commander War Mints here and today I have an update for you for OD Massacre Stack Manager. Got version 1.4 which is mainly changes to the back end code to speed things up and reduce UI calls as well as a bug fix for a potential soft lock when passing history but there are a few visual updates and updates to the operation of it so let's go through them and I'll explain what's changed. First off, as you may have noticed, there's now a different color for alternating rows on these uh, grids here. This is mainly because people, some people were saying that they're having sort of trouble following across the line. So this is just a visual reference. However, if that's not your cup of tea, you don't need it and you don't want it. I have included an option to turn them off. So if you look in the top right hand corner here, you'll see a, a little cog icon and there's an option in here, alternate row colors. Just disable them or enable them as you please if you wanted to get shot of them all right you'll also notice that you can now choose a custom journal path folder if you wish as well as the options to purge your missions of uh, been added here and read your history rather than having to go into the completed drop down for them all right next up visually you if you look in the bounty feed on the left hand side i've fix a typo that was up there as well as I've added a dictionary lookup to convert what FDev call the ship names into what they actually are if that makes any sense so for example a crate phantom will no longer appear as a crate light it will pop up as a crate phantom the same for the imperial ships and that and just cracks and tidy things up a bit in, in your bounty feed here all right next in our operation though is this stack count here in the bottom right corner I've now set it so it excludes any of these missions that are ready to turn in so when you you're at a station and you are turning in you can build your stack up you can see exactly what's needed like i show you for example we look at this one here for the dukes you'll see it currently states that the total kills is 72. now if i was to make it think that this mission isn't complete see that ju now jumps up to 96 kills with a difference of 57. see so that fixes that for you so when you are at a station turning in missions you can now see your complete stack this section here doesn't ignore those though so that still includes your, com your complete stack value and everything is still including there so as you'll see look there's no change really other than the amount of kills to next completion if i change that from sort of ready to turn in as opposed to active all right and then yeah the, the changes to the back end code those should speed things up so every time you get a kill or you complete a mission it's not rebuilding and redoing this entire ui things are being done in the background before they're being applied to the ui which just reduces the amount of calls so you can mainly see that it right if we go into our completed missions here and we decide to purge them you notice that this used to go through delete them one by one update in the ui as it went it now does all that in the background and then updates the ui when it's finished so it actually makes the operation a lot quicker that way so if i show you if i can normally when i purge all my completed missions you know, this takes you know, 20 30 seconds to do now it's done in a couple all right same goes for like your abandoned missions or the failed missions it's all gone in next to no time now and so it just means it should reduce the uh, CPU usage and the actual uh, usage of the app overall. So it, uh, it's a little bit lighter for you guys out there. But other than that, that's about it. I hope you enjoy and people find it helpful. 07 and I'll see you in the black.